Hello students, welcome to Legacy IS Academy. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the prelims examination question paper of UPSC from the year 2014. In this video, we are going to discuss in details about the geography questions that has been asked in this particular year. What was the correct answer and the explanation behind that? So first question is related to one of the tribal communities of India. That is the Changpa community where it has been asked that with reference to Changpa community of India, consider the following statement. The first is they live mainly in the state of Uttarakhand. Second is they rear the Pashmina goats, they yield fine wool. And third is they are kept in the category of settled tribes. So in this case, the correct answer is B. The first statement is the first statement is the incorrect statement because they Changpa community basically are the semi-nomadic Tibetan people who are found mainly in the Changtang plateau, which is part of the, the dark region of India. A small number of them also used to reside in the Tibetan Autonomous Region and as of 1989 there are more than half a million nomads living in the Changtang area. As far as their livelihood is concerned, they are highly pedigreed and prized Changra goats as well as uh, the, the other type of goat. However, they mainly depend on the yield of rare Pashmina or Kashmir fiber for their survival. So obviously the second statement is correct. Third statement is obviously they have been put under the category of cellular tribes. However, they do not live in Uttarakhand rather than they live in the Ladakh. The second question is simple, very, very simple basic question related to the climatic region where it has been asked that the seasonal reversal of wind is the typical characteristic of which of the given climate, equatorial, Mediterranean, monsoon or all of the above. So correct answer obviously is C. The seasonal reversal of wind is characteristic of monsoon climate. Actually, the monsoon word itself, which is an English word, has been derived from the Arabic word mosim, where mosim means seasonal reversal of wind. So, if you take a look at the subcontinent of India, we can clearly say that during the time of winter season, the wind during the time of summer season, the wind are southwestern in nature, where they are moving from the sea to land, while in the winter season, winds are moving from the land to sea and are north historically monsoon winds. And if you look at this particular part of the map of world, the entire shaded region here represents those area where you will find the monsoon type of climate. So the correct answer is C, monsoon type of climate. The th next question is related to the match the following, which is location based question that is very, very common question asked almost every year in the UPSC. Uh, this time the question has been asked related to the Indian mapping, where on one side you have been the name of the hills that is given and on the other side the name of the coast where these hills are present is given. So you have to find that which of these pairs are correctly matched. So first of all, you have the Cardamom Hills in the Coromandel Coast, Kamur Hills, Konkan Coast, Mahadev Hills, Central India and Mekir Hills, Northeast India. So if you take a look at the map of India, the first hill is Cardamom Hill. Now Cardamom Hill is a southernmost part of the Western Ghat and it is situated in the southernmost part of Kerala. So Cardamom Hill is not part of Coromandel Coast because if you look at this map here, Coromandel Coast is the eastern coast of India. This green region that you see in the map represents the Coromandel Coast. So the Cardamom Hill is part of Malabar Coast, not Coromandel Coast. Second is Kamur Hills, Konkan Coast. So Kamur Hills, if you take a look here, this is the Kamur Hills. Kamur Hills is basically an extension of Vindhya range that extend all the way up to Bihar. And Kamur Hill is obviously not a part of Konkan Coast because Konkan Coast is situated in the state of Maharashtra and Goa on the western side. So second statement is also incorrect. The third is Mahadev Hills in central India. So if you take a look at this map here, we can see this is the Mahadev Hills. Mahadev Hills are basically a part of Satpura range and actually it is situated in the state of Mah uh, Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra and thus it is obviously a part of central India. So the third statement is a correct one. The fourth statement is Mikir Hills, Northeast India. This is also correct. Mikir Hills basically are situated somewhere here to the east of the Jaintia Hills and thus they are the part of Northeast India. So the correct option obviously will be C. Third and fourth are correct. Remaining first and second are incorrect. The fifth question is related to the rivers, which is again a favorite topic of UPSC. Three rivers have been given, the river Barak, Lohit and Subansari and it has been asked that which of the above flows through the state of Arunachal Pradesh. So if you take a look at the map of Arunachal Pradesh, we can clearly see Lohit river is flowing in the Arunachal Pradesh. It is a tributary of river Brahmaputra. Then we have Subansari river. Subansari river basically if you take a look at here. Subansri river originate from the Tibetan plateau and then it goes and meets the Brahmaputra river in the state of Assam. So 
we talk about subansri river subansri river obviously it is flowing through certain regions of the arunachal pradesh and third is we have barak river so that is incorrect because barak river actually is a river that flows in the state of manipur and mizoram so if you take a look at this map here this we can clearly see this is the barak river and barak river is important river of manipur and mizoram so the correct answer will be b that is only second and third river are flowing through the arunachal pradesh the next question is again related to the andaman nicobar islands and the question is that which of the following pairs of island is separated from each other by 10 degree channel so andaman nicobar nicobar sumatra maldives lakshadweep and sumatra and java so correct answer is andaman nicobar because if you take a look at this particular map here the northern island groups are called as andaman island groups while the southern island groups are called as nicobar island group and and this water channel that you are seeing here that is separating your little andaman from kar nicobar basically is called as 10 degree channel the reason is very very simple because this water body is located near the 10 degree latitude and thus the correct answer will be a andaman and nicobar similarly we have one water channel small water channel here as well and this water channel separates lower andaman and little andaman and this water channel is called as duncan passage so these are two important water bodies that are situated in the andaman nicobar island you should know about the next question is related to the uh, which of the following phenomena might have influenced the evolution of organisms continental drift or glacial cycles so correct answer is both continental drift because as we can see as far as the alfred wegener's continental drift theory is concerned the entire world early, actually the entire landmass of the world actually was part of a single landmass that you call as pangaea then a splitting happened into laurasia and gondwana land and then further the splitting has caused different different continents and oceans to form and then gradually the world has acquired the current configuration so obviously what happens when you have the splitting of continental landmasses the population of same species may get reproductively isolated and as the continents move into different different climatic zones for example some some continents have moved from the colder to hotter climate some continents have moved to the warmer to colder climate so this kind of a change in the climate as well as the reproductive isolations lead to the evolution of new organisms which is called as speciation so obviously continental drift can influence the evolution of organisms similarly we talk about glacial cycles which refers to the increase and decrease in the extent of glacial seeps over the earth surface it causes warming and cooling of the earth's temperature and this change in temperature again can lead to change in climate which can also cause adaptive tendencies to develop in some of the organisms and obviously can have influence on the evolution of organisms thus the correct answer will be c both 1 and 2 eight question is again related to the mapping question simple question asked from the world mapping where it has been asked that turkey a important country is located between which of the following sea black sea and caspian sea black sea and mediterranean sea gulf of suez and mediterranean sea and gulf of aqaba and dead sea so again this is again a very very factual question if you look at the map of turkey this is turkey so on the north side of turkey we can see we have the black sea and on the south side of turkey we have the mediterranean sea and black sea and mediterranean sea is connected by a strait that is called as strait of dardanelles and strait of bosphorus via sea of marmara so the correct answer will be b black sea and mediterranean sea the ninth question again is related to the world mapping series where the correct sequence you have to identify in the cities of southeast asia if you are moving from the south to north so the capital cities such as bangkok hanoi jakarta and singapore is given so let us take a look at the map So first of all we can see the capital of Indonesia is Jakarta which is situated here then as we move north here we have the Singapore then we have Jakarta Singapore and Hanoi and Bangkok so Bangkok is the capital of Thailand which is situated around here and the capital of Vietnam is Hanoi which is situated around here so that means Jakarta Singapore Bangkok and Hanoi that is the correct order the 3412 jakarta singapore bangkok hanoi is the correct option so c is the correct option next question again related to the world mapping series where the regions that have often been in news and which country they belong to have been asked so chechnya russian federation darfur mali swat valley and iraq so if you take a look at the map here chechnya definitely is a part of russia and the capital of chechnya is grozny and for a very long period of time there has been a kind of civil war like situation that existed between the russian central government and chechnya local government however right now chechnya has been accepted as a one of the federation of the russia 
So it is situated near the border of Georgia as well. Second is Darfur. Now Darfur is not in Mali. Darfur is the capital of South Sudan and it is the youngest uh, city, youngest uh, country of the Africa. So the second statement is incorrect one. Third is Swat Valley in Iraq. That is also incorrect because Swat Valley is a part of Pakistan. As we can see, this is the Jammu and Kashmir region and situated nearby the northwestern part of Pakistan. We have the valley of Swat. So the second and third statement are incorrect. The first statement is correct. So correct option obviously will be A only one. The next question is related to carbon cycle that which of the following adds carbon dioxide to the carbon cycle on the planet Earth. Volcanic eruption, respiration, photosynthesis and decay of organic matter. So obviously if you are having volcanic eruption, the carbon dioxide gases are emitted and they become part of the carbon cycle. Respiration also, if you are talking about respiration, in respiration, we inhale oxygen and we exhale carbon dioxide. So this carbon dioxide that we are exhaling, that will go into the atmosphere and obviously will become part of the carbon cycle. Third is photosynthesis. Now, if photosynthesis basically refers to a process by which plants or organic matters prepare their food under the presence of sunlight. And during this process, they actually inhale the carbon dioxide and exhale the oxygen. So obviously, in photosynthesis, carbon dioxide is not being emitted rather than it is being absorbed by the plants. So it will not add to the carbon cycle. The fourth is decay of organic matter that obviously releases the carbon matter. So one, two and four is the correct statement here in this particular case. Next question is related to the natural vegetation where it has been asked that if you are traveling through the Himalayas, you are likely to see which of the following plants that can grow naturally there. So oak, rhododendron and sandalwood. Now this is a very, very simple question because oak are found in the areas having lower temperature and also areas that is having higher altitude. So obviously you will find oak, especially if you talk about the Uttarakhand Himachal region, a large part of these regions are actually covered by the oak forest. Similarly, rhododendron are the bushy like substance, bushy like uh, plants, which are developed in the higher regions, alpine regions of the Himalayas beyond 3000, 3000, 3500 meters and large number or large tract of rhododendron forest and bushes you will find in the states such as Sikkim and Arunachal Pradesh. Sandalwood on the other hand belongs to tropical deciduous forest and these kind of environmental condition which required for the growth of sandalwood is not found in Himalayas. Sandalwood is rather found in the central and southern part of India and thus third statement is incorrect. So the correct answer will be A. Only oak and rhododendron you can find in Himalayas. The next question again related to current fair this question where it has been asked that recently a series of uprising of people referred to as Arab Spring has happened. Where did it originally started from? Is it Lebanon, Syria or Tunisia? So Arab Spring basically refers to a kind of revolutionary movement that has engulfed the entire Arabian region right from the west to east and the main purpose of the people were to overthrow the regime which they deemed to be dictatorial in nature where they felt that the regime is throttling their freedom and that is why they wanted to change the government and thus it actually first began in a small country situated on the bank of Mediterranean Sea on the coast of Mediterranean Sea that is called as Tunisia from Tunisia then it spread all the way to Algeria, Morocco, Libya, Egypt and even some uh, even in, uh, to some extent in the Saudi Arabia. So the correct answer here will be D that is Tunisia. The next question is related to the conventional energy sources, non-conventional energy sources that with reference to two non-conventional energy sources called as coal bed methane and shale gas consider the following statement so coal bed methane is a pure methane gas extracted from coal seams while shale gas is a mixture of propane and butane only that can be extracted from fine grained sedimented rock now this first statement is absolutely incorrect because coal bed methane is not pure methane gas rather than there are some other gases are also present there Second is in India abundant coal bed methane sources exist but so far no shale gas sources have been found that is also incorrect because if you take a look at the map of India, we can see here the yellow regions such as Krishna Godavari Basin, Kaveri Basin, Kambay Basin as well as some region in the northeastern India have prospective areas for the shell gas and oil exploration. Coal bed methane on the other hand are also found here in many parts of India. However, they are largely concentrated in the Chota Nagpur region as well as in some part of Rajasthan and Gujarat. So the second statement is incorrect. We do have shale gas resources in India as well. So the correct answer will be D, neither one nor two. Next question is again related to the match the following where it has been asked. 
three different reasons of India are given and these reasons are known for the production of which kind of crop that has been asked. So, Kinnor, Areka Nut, Mewat, Mango, Poromandal, Shoya Bean. So, the correct answer in this case is D. None of the none of the uh, regions are correctly matched with their crops. Basically, Kinnor, which is a valley in the Madhya Pradesh, is famous for production of the apples. Areka Nut is mostly confined to the South India, such as Karnataka, Kerala, and in North East India in Assam. Mewat, on the other hand, is here in Haryana, is not famous for mango. Rather, the nearby state of UP is famous for mango. Similarly, Coromandel Coast is also not famous for soya bean. The top producer of soya bean are Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra, which are outside the Coromandel Coast. Thus, what we can say? The D is the correct answer. The last question is related to the national highways and which cities these national highways basically connect to. So, national highway number four. Do they connect Chennai and Hyderabad? So, if you take a look at here, this is the National Highway 4. And National Highway 4 basically connects the city of Mumbai to the city of Chennai. That means the first statement is incorrect. The second is NH6, Mumbai and Kolkata. That is also incorrect because NH6 basically connect the city of Surat to the city of Kolkata, not the Mumbai and Kolkata. Basically, it is the Gujarat that is connected to West Bengal via NH6. And third is NH15 connecting Ahmedabad and Jodhpur. That is also incorrect. If you take a look at this green line here, this is NH15. And NH15 basically connects the Pathankot region in the North India to some Khyali region in the Ranaf Kutch region or Kutch part of the Gujarat. So, all the three statements given here are incorrect. So, correct answer will be D. None of the following are the correct. So, that is all about this particular paper. I hope you understood about the what kind, what kind of question has been asked in 2014. Very basic, simple question has been asked and a lot of map based question as you can see have been asked in this particular year. So that is all for this particular video. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please hit the like button, share it with your last friends as well as subscribe to our channel for more such simple content. Thank you very much.